Do you all really get into grips now with Google Classroom and doing such a fantastic job with it? I'm going to show you particularly today how to reaccess your work uh, to look at the feedback that your teachers have sent back to you. Before I do that though, just a quick little extra tip for you to show you when you come into the main page here, you can rearrange your classes how you see fit. So for example, your main class is probably the one you're going to go into the most. You want might want that at the very beginning. So you can just drag and drop them and move them around in the order that you see fit. I'm going to go into the main class here from for one of the students and show you how to access your work again. So we're going to click up into classwork and we'll see all the assignments that you've so far completed. Where there's a light grey box, you've already done something there. You've, you've either answered a question or you've uploaded some work. Where there's a dark grey box, it's showing something is missing. You haven't uploaded anything yet. And, and the some assignments don't require you to. But that's just a quick overview of it. It's across the top, these three buttons at the top then you're gonna to use to delve a little bit further in. So I can click on view your work. And here shows me all the work that I've already uploaded. Um, and it tells me that I've handed it in or that something is missing. And where I might, some work might say 100 out of 100, it just means that you've completed the work there. Now it's these little icons that are very important alongside the work. The little comment box tells you that there's a comment and the paperclip tells you that there's an attachment to that, normally the attachment that you attached to given into your teacher. So if I click on one that says two, it's got two attachments, okay? Where I'm going to click on one that says one comment, that's your teacher normally feeding back to you, asking you a question. Okay, um, but there's more than that, and there's the, the, within the document themselves, there's often quite a lot of feedback for you. So let's have a look at this one here, maths. Um, and Mr. Lewis has said a uh, good problem, so I'm going to have a look at my correction. So I'm going to click on the document again, and it opens up. But I can't see any corrections. And this is one of the little funky things with Google Classrooms that could probably be better. At the moment, you can't see it. But if you click on the, the more actions here, the three dots on the top right, and open in new window, this is going to take you actually into your Google Docs itself. And a new tab will open up. And... Ah, now I can see the comments. Mr. Lewis is prompting me to check this one and telling me this one's not finished. And your teachers, will you'll often find, will make the comments in here. But remember, you have to click on those little dots to get into the actual comments. One of those little flaws with Google Classrooms. Um, to get back, we just click on the back arrow. And I'm going to go back into the classroom area now um, because the other way to access your work is to simply go into your class drive folder. And you can either do it by clicking on class drive folder or you can click on the Google Apps and click on your drive. So if I click on drive folder, another page again opens up and it shows all of the work that you've so far handed in and completed. It's all there. Uh, a quick way of access accessing everything.